Hello, I'm Dinosu, and today I'll be explaining and discussing an application of linear interpolation. On scratch.mit.edu, you might have seen my featured project titled Drawing Morpher. I got hundreds of comments on it asking how it worked, so I decided to make this video. In case you haven't seen it, here is a video of me using the project. When using this project, the user draws two shapes or connected drawings, and the second one morphs into the first when they press space. But how does this work? It may appear to be that the user is drawing curves in this project, but they are really just drawing many short connected line segments. Here is a simplified version of the project in which this shape has only three points and two segments. In this edited picture, the ending shape is visible in gray. Another thing that was edited was that the dotted lines were drawn for each point in the starting image to its corresponding point in the ending image. Notice that as I go through time, the vertices of the shape always stay on these dotted lines. Also, the vertices always move linearly or at the same rate. Since this demonstrates a point moving along a line at a constant rate, it is an example of linear interpolation. This brings up the question, how is linear interpolation calculated? Here you can see a screenshot from the project. This function calculates the interpolated value between two other values and at some point in time, t. t must be between 0 and 1 for this purpose. Earlier we saw that linear interpolation could be done between points, but it can also be done between numbers. Let's take a uh, look at an example to explain. Suppose we want to interpolate between these two points, negative 2, 0, and 3, 1. Suppose the time value is 0 0.4. How do we go about this? First, we interpolate between just the x values of the two points, negative 2 and 3. This is where the function we saw earlier comes in. If we assign a to negative 2, b to 3, and t to 0 0.4, the output of the function is 0. Therefore, the interpolated x value is 0. Similarly, we then calculate the y interpolation value. Plugging in 0 for a, 1 for b, and 0 0.4 for t, we get 0 0.4 as the output. From here, it is very easy to determine the interpolated value for the line segment. The point on the segment interpolated with t value 0 0.4 is 0, 0 0.4. This is just a combination between the x and y interpolated values it put into an ordered pair. Looking back at our shapes from earlier, we can see that the t slider at the bottom is the equivalent of the t value. In fact, the t slider is just 100 times the t value. Thank you for watching this presentation. Comment below or on my Scratch profile if you have any questions.